Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to learn how to build a simple form using LWC. So what we are going to do is, we are going to build just a simple form which will have 3 input fields, I think so 3 input fields and along with that it will have just one button. That's it, nothing else than that. It will just have few 3 input fields and it will just have a button. So basically we are going to work on the UI part in LWC today. But before starting our video, if you like my videos and I am able to help you out to learn Salesforce anyway, so please do consider subscribing to this channel. So let's jump to our LWC editor in order to create our form. Now as we are going to work on the UI part of our LWC, so that's why I'm going to directly going to HTML file. So what do I want is I want three input files, uh, three input fields, right? So inside this drawing it this way, I'll just have three input fields. One which one will take the name, another will take the email, second third one will take the phone number. That's it. I just want three input fields, and then at bottom I just want a save button over here. That's it. Nothing else than that. So let's jump into it, and then as I've said already, I want three input fields. So I'm going to create a lightning input. So in order to create an input field in LWC, you have to use lightning input. So as you can see, automatically all the things that are required or all the things which are necessary to create a in, uh, lightning input field are available to me. So I'm going to just copy paste it three times. So one is of type text, which will just take the name. Label of this would be also name, right? A type name here. Same way, I'm going to do it for the email. It should be of type email. <clears throat> and last, the final word will be phone number, which will be of type phone. I'm going to keep it as phone, yeah. Enter email here, enter phone here. So now three input fields are created. Last and the final thing that we have to build is a button. So again, I'm going to write a lightning button. So as you can see, automatically, all the things are visible to me. So I'm going to just write the label name as save. Right, and title will be also save. I'm removing this on click as we don't need it now, but I'll explain you what does it, what what's the use of this on click. And variant, variant equals to base. So I'll just deploy this by just clicking on control S. Yes. And I'll move to our Salesforce Oracle. Now, if I go to the targets, right, or the meta file, as you can see, this LWC component is visible in all these pages like record page, app page, home page. So as I wanted to add it to the home page, so I can see lightning home page as my as is added into my target. So I'm just going to jump to it and then go to this part and just click on edit page. <clears throat> So the name of my LWC component is basic, basic LWC. I'm just going to grab it and put it over here below it and save it. So if I click on refresh, you will be able to see a small form over here, right? Name, email, phone, and save button. Now, as you can see, the save button is not visible properly. The reason is because the variant of the uh, variant of this button is base. As soon as I will make it brand, brand means it will be similar to that of the Salesforce. Salesforce shows the button in the in blue colors. If you have ever seen a save button in your uh, normal account or a contact page, you will see that all the buttons are in blue color. So in order to do that, if I refresh this page again. The button is turned to blue so you can see there are three uh, fields name email and uh, phone so in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to pass the value to these fields and then we are trying we will 
take the value from html that is the template file and then we are going to show that values inside the js file so basically we are going to learn how to pass the value from the html file to the js file in lwc if you like this video please subscribe to this channel